Airtable is a low code platform for building collaborative apps. Customize your workflow, collaborate, and achieve ambitious outcomes. Now that statement is kind of vague and ambitious in itself, but as someone who uses Airtable, I get it. In this video, I'm gonna give you my Airtable review and how Airtable can help improve your operations and workflows. To start, let's go over what Airtable is in really overly simplified terms. Now, Airtable is a software tool to help you manage your business operations and workflows. You can think of Airtable like a Google Sheets, except it's meant for data, not numbers. So for example, you would never create a financial model in Airtable like you would in Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel. However, you would manage data through Airtable. So it could be like a CRM, it could be like applications, it could be content management. If it has data, Airtable can be a really great tool to use to help manage it and keep it organized. But you're not gonna do a bunch of calculations with that data. That is something if you're doing calculations or financial modeling, that's for Google Sheets, that's for Microsoft Excel. Now, even that is pretty vague in itself. And it's vague because Airtable is a really dynamic tool. You can use it for a lot of different use cases. Now, kind of like the basic use cases that I think a lot of people think of Airtable is that it can be like acted as a simple CRM, like a starter CRM. It can act as an event management system. So if you're having you know, issues managing events with your organization, Airtable can do that. And I think one that's the most popular is for marketing teams and managing the content, especially if there's multiple team members you know, having to have it panned in how content is produced. Airtable can help manage all of that between the communication and just kind of keep everything simplified in a really good process. Now, what Airtable isn't is that it's not gonna, if you have really bad workflows and bad operations already, it's not just a good process. Airtable isn't gonna fix those processes. You need to fix those processes before putting them into Airtable. But if you have average to good processes already, and maybe just the tools aren't fitting what you need, let's say you're using Google Sheets or even pen and paper, Airtable can help make those processes, you know, take the average from good and good to great. So that's what, if you have good processes already and good systems in place, it's maybe not the right tools backing them. Airtable can be a really great tool to help back up those great processes and systems. The other thing that you heard or saw an Airtable statement of what Airtable is, is you saw the term low code. Now, if you're someone that knows low code or no code tools a little bit, you might have just assumed, oh, it's a startup and will Airtable actually be around in a year? Well, I think the answer is yes and absolutely. Airtable is one of the first tools to ever use low code or no code and they have really been the pioneer in a lot of this space. And they're really well funded and they're not just a new startup. They were founded in 2012 and they just were funded over $270 million just in March of 2021 with over a $5 billion valuation. So if you're new to Airtable and are nervous that it might disappear in a year or anytime soon, I don't think that's the case. It is very well funded. And yes, they still have like that startup vibe, I think, but they are very much here to stay. So if you open up Airtable for the very first time, you might just think to yourself, well, isn't this a, this a prettier spreadsheet or just a better spreadsheet? And that was my reaction at first too. I was really confused in what the hype was, what the excitement was around Airtable until I actually used it for my own use case. And my first use case is actually creating a mentor matchmaking tool that I was using about a year ago. And yes, I could have built a lot of that in Google Sheets, but really when I was helping to build the process and build it all in Airtable, it was so much better in Airtable than it would be in Google Sheets. So I'm gonna walk you through what it looked like on the Airtable side and kind of compare it to what it would have been like in Google Sheets. To start my mentor matchmaking process in Airtable, I was able to create a mentor signup form and an entrepreneur signup form right through Airtable and have it directly connected to the tables that I needed that information to go into. The most significant part was that I could filter and make matches almost effortlessly, and that's mainly because of Airtable's views and filter features. Now, if you look, there are these filters and you can filter really by any of the different fields that you have in your table. Now, instead of having just one table and you have to constantly be playing around with that filter, you actually can create like save views essentially. So if you look on the left, I can save views on the filter settings or really any of the settings on that top bar. So if I wanna create a filter or a view that just shows me all the marketing mentors, that's all there. 
I can see all the, you know, the entrepreneurs that just want, you know, will help with product development, whatever it might be. I don't have to be constantly, you know, creating different view, different filters or constantly playing with that filter tool. Um, just because there's all these different views I can keep saved on the left hand side of the screen. With all those views, I can then match mentors and entrepreneurs just based on their skill sets and needs that they marked in their forms. And once I was ready to make the match, or at least ask the mentor and founders like, hey, do you want this introduction? I could send personalized automated emails to everyone that needed to hear from me. There was no copy paste templates or me writing a bunch of emails, custom emails to each one just to make one single match. All I had to do was create the right email automations that so they looked like personalized emails coming from me and they were consistent. It was a huge time saver and it made the process so much better. After I had made all the matches, Airtable then actually two weeks later after making those matches send the entrepreneur and a mentor a feedback form that would be sent automatically through Airtable automations. That would tell me how good the match was and keep everyone engaged and it was a good way of getting that feedback that we need to actually show, hey, is this matchmaking tool actually working for what we're hoping it's doing? And this was really significant because having to actually consistently add to my to-do list, like, hey, send this feedback form, anything like that, that takes time. Like, it's not like a hard task, but it takes time. And instead of it taking my time, it took Airtable's really simple automations to get that feedback automatically. I would even forget that that email was sent. So I'd go back into Airtable and I could see the feedback of how good a match was and to see if this matchmaking tool was working effectively. And the cool part is, is that it really was. The ratings we have for those matching was really awesome and the automated emails that were going through Airtable were really significant with that. And that's something that you really can't do in Google Sheets with the native tool of Google Sheets. Now sure, you could probably do that through Zapier, but the, the ability to be able to match make, create those automated emails and just create a really simple, simplified process for all of that through Airtable only is really significant and really helpful. Now that matchmaking tool is on pause, so I'm not using Airtable for that right now. However, as you can notice, I'm creating my own content here on YouTube and through my own blog, and I'm using Airtable to actually manage all of that different content. Now, admittedly, I'm still very simple in my content creation and really content planning. So this base is pretty simple and doesn't have a lot to it. But as I get better as a content creator and really just as this business grows, this base will only get better with time. And plus, if I ever had a team, like add team members or really outsource anything, it's gonna be relatively easy because I'm already creating really wonderful processes that Airtable's really managing it. So instead of having to you know, really create those processes on the fly and being stressed out, I have them all right there in Airtable and all I have to do is share the base and really just walk through them with them maybe in 10, 15 minutes and then everyone's good to go um, in terms of transitioning things and whatnot. Everything's clean and organized. So it keeps me sane, but also it's really awesome for setting up future operations of what I hope our, this business is going to. So with both of those use cases, you can see that Airtable can manage really complex processes, but also really simple ones. And that's why Airtable, when it describes itself, is pretty vague because it's such a dynamic and adaptive tool, which is pretty awesome if you're just using maybe like the, you know, very, very light content management, but also we can grow into really complex content management as your business grows and evolves. With all of that in mind, you can see that the current version of Airtable is still really helpful and it's made my life a lot simpler and easier because Airtable is really managing and really is like a, is a second helper, a second set of hands because it's automating and doing a lot of different things. But I'm even more excited to use Airtable in the future for three main reasons. Reason number one is Airtable automations. Now, like I mentioned, Airtable automations, I've been using them mostly with the email automations and be able to send automatic emails, personalized automated emails through Airtable, but it's also pushing it through my email client, like a Gmail or Outlook. And that's been really significant because instead of me copy pasting templates, I can just send it through Airtable, one time, one click, super easy. And it feels like a real email, a real authentic email. A lot of people don't even realize that it's an automated email from me, which is awesome. Now, there are several other automations that are still really helpful. Let's say you're doing event management and Airtable can actually send calendar invites, you know, to a room, to a few people, just a few clicks of the button and through integrating Google Calendar or Outlook Calendar, whichever one you're using. 
And the other thing that's really helpful is actually automating the status or different records within different tables. So if you have a new record created, Airtable can you know automatically change the status or whatnot. That's a really powerful dynamic, especially if you have data coming in or out. It, it's a really powerful to be able to even edit the records automatically as other records are changing within your base or within your tables. These current automations have been really helpful for me, but again, they keep getting better. And in 2022, Airtable's already announced that they're gonna have conditional automations. And that's gonna be even better because it's gonna be more like having Zapier within Airtable. And what I mean by that is right now, Airtable is if, if one thing does this, do that. It's all it can do in automations. But if you've used Zapier before, it can do more of these conditional automations, which is like, if this happens, do this. But if this action happens, do another task. And Airtable will have these conditional automations coming in 2022, which is gonna simplify the automations that you're creating and make even Airtable more useful and feasible to do really complex processes. So I'm excited to use those and see what those look like with Airtable automations. Reason number two why I'm excited to use Airtable in the future is Airtable integrations. Now, if you're like me, you're not just using one tool to manage everything in your tech stack. Okay, those are using Notion, so you can use Notion for everything. I don't agree, but different story, different day. Now, Airtable is, keeps integrating with more and more tools or maybe data sources. So if you're a more developed organization using Salesforce, or maybe it's your really early stage venture using just Google Sheets, wherever that information is in most systems are now able to automatically sync to Airtable. So if you like, let's say you have a Salesforce report and you want that data to come into Airtable so you can manage it in there, you can do that. And if you update records in Salesforce, it'll update automatically into Airtable. And the same thing goes for Google Sheets. If you have a Google Sheet, maybe there's a Google form that it goes to a Google Sheet. If there's a new record or updated records, it'll automatically update within Airtable so you can view it right in Airtable. You don't have to go to the Google Sheet or the Salesforce report. And you can do that also with your calendars, which is a really powerful thing. Now, the only bummer to those integrations right now is that you can't update, you know, if you integrate and sync the, those, that data from the different sources, you can't update it in Airtable or even really change or edit any of that data because it's syncing automatically to those different sources. Now, integrations has come a really long way, even just in the past year. Typically, even probably even just a year ago, most of the time, if you were gonna you know, import new data, you always had to do it through downloading the CSV and then importing it through that into Airtable. A year later, and it's already integrating with Salesforce, with Google Sheets, all sorts of different ways. So I am bullish that we'll be able to edit eventually at some point to be able to, you know, if it's linked sync to like a Salesforce or to a Google Sheets that we'll be able to update within Airtable and it'll push it upwards, not just this one-way street like we have now. But either way, it's still a really great way to be able to sync data and see it, at least in Airtable, so you can have one place for one thing, or if you're running a maybe event management system or a content management system, whatever it might be, you can have one base that has all the information in one place. You don't have to just look around, oh, this is in Salesforce, this is in Airtable, this is in Google Sheets. You can sync all that and bring it all into one place within an Airtable base. The third reason why I'm excited for the future of Airtable and using it in the future is that the time for low code is right now and is the right time. If you haven't noticed in the past year or two, no code in the low code space has really taken off. And I think a lot of it has to do with these tools really developing like Airtable. They're growing and they're developing the feature sets, but also there's way more non-technical founders than there are technical founders in the world. And that's okay. Not everyone needs to be able to code or just be an engineer. And those non-technical founders or non-technical innovators are finally using and understanding these low code or no code tools even better. I am one of those low code or no code. I am not an engineer, but these low code and no code tools make it even possible for me to be able to use software and kind of develop my own software, which is really exciting. And this makes software development and really innovation even more equitable, which doesn't harm anyone. I think it's even better for just be us being able to innovate as a world because more people will be able to innovate with software. So I think that's really gonna help Airtable significantly because there's gonna be more people using it. And the more people that use it, that means there'll be more features and tools that get built out and people are gonna keep adding to it because 
like I just mentioned, Airtable is really integrating. They have these integrations, they have these automations, and you, they don't have to come from the Airtable team. They can come in from other places. So I'm really excited because the timing for this low code and no code world is really right now and it's developing at a really fast pace and in a really good way. So my summarized Airtable review is that Airtable is a great tool to get started with, especially if you've never used a no code or low code tool. Now, if you've used a Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel, Airtable is a great place to get started with no code tools because it has a lot of similarities and it's relatively quick to pick up if you're used to Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel. Plus, in this video, I didn't even talk about Airtable's newest feature, Airtable Interfaces, which I did talk about in a previous video. So if you wanna check out what that is, go look up that video. But that I think will really help Airtable even make it a better tool. So 12 months from now, I think Airtable is gonna be one of the best no-code or low-code tools out there. So, overall, I love Airtable. My Airtable review is a big thumbs up. And if you're looking to get started to just help manage your operations and your workflows better, or maybe just turn really good processes into great processes using Airtable, I highly recommend using Airtable to do so.